Welcome to Mechanical Sourcing. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create an assembly level analysis in Salome Mecha. Now, in our previous videos, what we have gone through is how to do a component level analysis. But uh, the real life problems, they may involve a number of components welded or bolted together. That's where the bonded contact comes into picture. Bonded contact assumes that uh, one body is permanently attached to another body with kind of gluing. And uh, the method it works on is uh, the superimposing kind of contact that we are trying to understand today is uh, whenever one mesh is there, it will create a surface mesh as a contact of one body and attach it on the another one. So. I will show you this uh, using uh, like st uh, starting from scratch from geometry and uh, this is the first part of tutorial so I am just keeping the uh, context uh, limited to geometry in this but uh, you will learn a lot more about uh, how to create geometry in Salome Mecha because we are not going to import it there is always a possibility of importing the mesh uh, or model or like 3d model you can in import it into geometry but for this problem we are going to create from scratch so i'm moving to my next screen and uh, i'll show you what is the example so i have kept it open and uh, this is what it looks like this is a frame basically and on top of that there is a panel now uh, it will be like the frame is fixed from all four sides it's kind of you can assume as a window uh, having a four side fixed uh, attached with the structure and uh, this sheet is glued onto it just like here the dimensions are 10 units each for the outer side of uh, the frame and uh, this one is 9 mm not mm uh, the unit uh, because uh, the system is unit independent although you can define length units now in version 2019 but uh, uh, usually the follower is uh, unit free it means that it uh, it it lets you to decide what kind of unit system. If you input the dimensions in CGS, it will solve it and throw the results in CGS. If you input in MKS, it will throw the results in MKS. That's how it is. So, uh, coming back to the geometry module. Let's say we want to create a geometry like this. First thing you need to do is open the geometry module. This is how it looks like. It's a whole lot similar to your any CAD system that you have been using and uh, these things these are the icon way you can go through or you can also enter the command from the command menu now whenever you do a modeling the first task is to create a sketch that uh, the basics of modeling you may be knowing so uh, I want to create a rectangle 10, 10, 10, 10 each side. Not a rectangle. In, in fact, if each side is 10, then it's a square. So let's say this is a 2D sketch. This is the command you can uh, select. And then this dialog box will get open. You can see a lot of options like line, arc, rectangle. You can also see here absolute relative and selections. Selection is useful when you already have some geometry and you are trying to create some reference out of it. But in this case, there are two ways we can create it. One is uh, the entering the coordinate, either absolute or relative. Another way is this one. I like this one because it's easy. You just enter the uh, two coordinate of a rectangle or square and then it will get created. Now this this may look different to you because uh, the normal CAD softwares they allow you to pick from the screen. Yeah, but that's how it is uh, with the open source and uh, this is not a modular kind of software. This is more of an core FEA 
problem uh, solver so or preprocessor so i want to create the rectangle not rectangle square <laughs> symmetric about both the axes so if it is 10 then the lower coordinate must be minus 5 minus 5 let's say minus 5 minus 5 5 5 i'll hit apply and close now it is created but i won't be able to see it to be able to see it you need to use these these are the zoom tools uh, you can do fit all and here it is so the outer structure is created outer sketch now i want to create the inner as well because the the frame if you remember it is like this this is 10 and then this is 9 so to create it we will repeat it but this time since it's 9 it's 9 right each side is so let's say it's 8 let's keep it simple because otherwise we won't we need to do it in decibels minus 4 4 4 4 because I want it to be symmetric now this is 8 each side if I want 9 each side minus 4.5 minus 4.5 that way so now you see these are the rectangles or squares generated let's save this and tutorial underscore one now to name anything you need to be uh, careful because it uses python so there has to be something in between like it cannot be tutorial slash and then uh, space bar and then one it will not allow it so we, we saved it now in normal modeling tools you can directly extrude it the sketches it will create it in uh, this you need to create a face out of it so to do that go to new entity build face now we will just create this face there there are two ways one is you can create the bigger face then smaller face then use boolean and then have your result but i use this method it is uh, useful for me it is productive so select two objects control is the multiple selection key apply and close save it now you see the top view of this is generated so that is just the face or surface you need you just need to extrude it for one one is the unit uh, in the thickness direction so i'm going to keep it selected the good part here is if you create a new entity the old one will get hidden so right now the sketch is there but it's it's not visible now it's visible now it is hidden the eye is there to see or not to see you can close or open the eye but but uh, you need to be careful because this is an open source software while using any open source software you need to keep your mind open by using any anything you need to keep your mind open that's uh, a little bit gyan unnecessary so now we will extrude this now go to generation Extruding. height i can select one okay vector i have not selected see if there is an error it will give you the vector you need to select is in z, z direction so oz i am going to select now it's done so the first frame is selected uh, is created now we want to create on top of this we want to create the panel just like this this panel on top of that now what we'll do we'll again create a sketch a face and then do it so let's uh, create a sketch for now i know the coordinate it was four and between five between four and five so minus 4.5 minus 
4.5 so as we can see it is created on this plane the base plane only now i want to extrude it along oz but on the opposite direction similar way we can do that generation extrusion vector let's say minus 2 here i made a mix mistake again i forgot to create the face let's create it new entity build face so it's simple uh, i just wanted to show you like what happens when you don't create a sketch so now we are going to extrude this sketch new entity generation extrusion to let's say 100 then let's just select oz so it's the other way 100 a minus 100 and then minus 2 till it's too high minus 0.25 so for this i am not uh, referring to any other dimensions and anything because this was one so it has to be lower than that so this is how we create a geometry in salome mecca uh, in in my next module or the next uh, tutorial i'm going to teach you how we can mesh it and uh, how we can import it so basically uh, for meshing what preparation needs to be done that i will cover in next tutorial as well as meshing part so thank you for watching my video and uh, i i believe that you guys have have already taken a look at uh, how to model it uh, a simple problem in salome mecca uh, the first video and uh, to learn FEA, you, you can also refer to my video for spreadsheet approach on FEA. Thank you very much. And uh, I request you to go through my website and come back with any questions you have or anything you would like to learn regarding this tool. Thank you. Thank you very much.